beautiful late September night. 65 degrees. You hear the train in the background. Let's take a look. Well, as you can see, I'm right next to the William A. Irvin. I think all of us have driven by this many times if you've been up here quite a bit. We all get off right here on Railroad Street or keep going on 35 and you'll get off to go down into Canal Park. The reason why I'm here right now is because I've never walked down where all these charter fishing boats are. So I figured we'd do it together and walk down the backside over here. I see people out here. They're playing some cornhole up here on the left. It's a Friday night. Let's check out some of these cool boats and charter boats as well. See all the rods and everything set up there. this place here. Hoops Brewing. Got Red Lobster here. Hoops Brewing. Looks like everybody's outside having some fun. I always like looking at the back of those boats. You get to see some cool names. You got There's Happy Hooker. It's supposed to be raining tonight. I'm sure that it isn't going to be that big of a deal. We'll leave it uncovered. We've got a cleaning station right here. Lay the fish down and flay it for the customers. I can see they got these hooks right here. Once they come back with their catch, they display all those fish they caught and some pictures for the, the guests that went out on those fishing launches. such an interesting job you know people pay to go out fish uh, to go out and fish on Lake Superior and there's some people that that's their career that's what they do every single day take a look at this mast right here here's the waterfront waterfront plaza Suites Hotel, they got some balconies up there. I think those are private residence balconies up there. Let's continue here. Five Star Hooker, Duluth, Minnesota. Finlander 2 down here. This is the name of this one. So what's up here? This Bay Walk. Now I've well we're gonna walk right through. I've never done this before. If you haven't, then now you know about it. Yeah, here you go. Here's a good name. I'd rather be fishing. I'm sure many of us uh, have thought about that during the day. Yeah, this is a part of the part of Duluth that you miss. All of these boats that are right on the back side of the William A. Irvin. Well, let's go through this bay walk here. Looks like just a, a straight up tunnel. See what's on the other side here. I 
you got plenty more bolts over on this side. See, I've never been, I've, I've been on this, that bridge right there that we're looking at, but I've never, I've never went down and looked at any of these, these bolts down here either. Pretty convenient though, have your bolt right here. Right next to the Vista Fleet, one of the smaller vessel, vessels they got, the Vista Queen. Take a look at that other side of the Irvin. It's a really interesting tour. If you've never been on that William A. Irvin tour, you can go right in there. You see everything on there. A gorgeous night, huh? What's this boat over here? I'm gonna have to go check that out here a little later. Looks interesting. We'll go up on that bridge and look over there real quick. You have Father Time Antiques. I've never been in there. I've driven by it a million times. Chocolate Factory, that's a place I've been in there. I've tried some stuff there. You, you definitely want to, <laughs> that's a once every couple weeks or a month type of place. They, they have some great, great chocolate and treats. Oh, I don't want you to miss these boats here. We got the sailboats. This is a beautiful boat here, huh? They got these all for the tourists right here. We'll walk up on this bridge right here. Here's where we were right there.